Hi, this is Christina from last video. I have talked about um, how Camel can help you uh, from duplicating your code and um, the 150 different components and connectors of Camel. And this time I'm going to talk, talk about the integration pad inside of Camel. So um, integration problems. Well, Camel is trying to solve your integration problems. But uh, so, so for that, we don't really want to redo or reinvent the wheels for every integration problem that we face. And here are the things that we typically face when we're trying to solve our integration uh, problems in our enterprise. Well, first you might face where to send my message to. Is it a point-to-point -point with a single receiver? Or are there many other audience trying to listen to our output? Uh, what happens when there's a problem when I try to uh, deliver my content. What happens when it failed? Or should uh, should I, you know, should I form a message bus that shares the communications between all the applications? And what about the most important routing logic? Do I send my message to different party depending on the content, or do I wait and aggregate for uh, several message and then combine them together and then send them out? Or do I have to split the message into many parts? So we have asked where and how. So what about when? We still need to figure out when we want to send it. Do we send it out when certain events occur? Or do we send it, send it out periodically? Or is it so or... And it is very common to have a transaction between two endpoints. How do we handle the transactions? And what about when we need to filter out contents before we send it to endpoint because we don't want this third, this particular endpoint to see every single uh, one of the message that I was I was processing. So there is certainly no one size fits all solutions for every single one of them, and um, so it all depending on your specific uh, use case and your business needs. But if you break down those uh, integration solutions uh, that you found in the industry, you will find very similar chunks of design solutions. So what enterprise integration pattern does, it's um, it actually, it's uh, what experts find and find how the fields tackle each problems. So what each, so each pattern poses a uh, specific design problems and it considers the surrounding, surrounding problems and that balances out the various force and drivers when you face when you face the problem and it gives you a more elegant solution to your problem. So Apache Camel implements this pattern and allow developers to take advantage of this existing pattern to solve their integration problem. So here is a diagram that you see when you try to solve that you see when we try to solve a, a integration solutions. And what you have to do in Camel is to put all the different uh, EIPs together and it forms your solutions. So another day-to-day -day common thing to do in integration is to transform between different data types. In Red Hat JBoss Fuse, by using Camel, we provide several types of transformation. So it automatically converts various formats. With a many built-in library, it is easy to convert from XML, uh, from JSON or um, a Java object to many different formats. So it also supports uh, message comp compression. When the message gets too big, it, it actually allows the transport to be more efficiently done. And as usual, it is, it is very highly customizable. We can now even have mappers to map um, into different documents. We will see that in our tooling side. So, so, so as, a for, as for our tooling uh, for Camel developers, we, we have a um, we have JBoss Develop, Developer Studio. Um, it provides the user with uh, the drag and drop pre-built integration pattern, so you can easily create your integration services. Um, so all you have to do is to just drag and drop all the different patterns and put it together, it becomes your services. And it also uses the uh, Maven to um, control your library dependencies. And it has a, um, a plugin to that developers upload the application to a repository. And through the repository, we can then deploy our uh, 
bundles our services into the containers or the running instance uh, of uh, JBoss Fuse. So all this can be done through two links. It also provides a drag and drop mapping capabilities. Here is how it's done. So user can choose the format um, of the data, then choose the uh, schema of the message. Also, there's a choice of uh, reading schema or example files. Then you get the drag and drop. Then you so then you get to the drag and drop GUI to map your data. Well, so the best thing about Camel, so this is another best thing about Camel is that um, it is possible now to debug your integration route in the toolings. Okay, so this is um, Apache Camel in uh, Red Hat JBoss Fuse, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk about Fuse Fabric. Thanks.